All right, friends, welcome to grade four, unit five. We are talking about quick practices and specifically working on unit conversions. So this is very similar to what we're doing in the lessons, um, but students need way more practice than what they're able to get in the lessons, which is why it's in quick practice. This should generate that procedural fluency and the automaticity that kids need to really have this skill. So what you'll see in your teacher's guide is um, a template looks something like this, um, this idea of repeats over and over again. So now we're gonna take this idea and we are going to do it one by one. So it says, I will point to the equivalency above this table. So the student leader can point up here and say, we're gonna convert larger units, meters, to smaller units, centimeters. Class, show with your hands one meter. And the class should show like uh, their hands spread, you know, way far apart. Um, we say a meter is very, very, very long. Um, it is longer than a yardstick. It's about the length of my arms width. Um, if I were to hold a guitar, that's about a meter. So students should be showing something like that. Now show a centimeter, right? So should, students should be showing about how much a centimeter is. A centimeter is like the width of my pinky finger. So remember having those benchmarks, something they've been working on since first grade, is helping students internalize about how much something is. So over and over again, they're going to use their hands to show about how um, large something is or how long. So each one meter has how many centimeters? Class and the class would say 100 centimeters. As they say that, then the student leader can write 100 centimeters up in the top. So one meter, read it with me, one meter equals 100 centimeters. Boys and girls, what will I do to the meters to get to my centimeters? Think about it class and the whole class should say we would multiply by 100. So boys and girls, two times 100, class 200. Four times 100, class 400. Eight times 100, class 800. Okay, and then that's the end of that quick practice. We move to the next slide, right? So I'd move to the next slide. Boys and girls, we're gonna convert from larger units, decimeters, to smaller units, centimeters. Boys and girls, how many centimeters are in a decimeter? Class, 10. Boys and girls, what am I going to do to three um, decimeters to get to how many centimeters? Class, multiply by 10. Class, three times 10, 30. 5 times 10, 50. 9 times 10, 90. Boys and girls, when we went from decimeters to centimeters, we got more centimeters because the larger the unit, the more, or the smaller the unit, the more we need, right? That's the idea of the compensatory principle, understanding that even though decimeters are larger, we need more centimeters because they're smaller. It would take more of them to fill up that same amount of space. We continue and you can see how we go on um, just like that. So you're gonna have one, two, three, four slides um, just for lesson two. You continue and you get to lesson three because now of course we've moved on to metric um, liquid uh, measurement. Okay, so we now we're talking about liquid volume. So you'll do the same types of conversions, talking about we're going from liters to milliliters. So you can make that interactive. Boys and girls, are we going from a large unit to a small unit or a small unit to a large unit? Class, we're going from a large unit to a small unit. Boys and girls, how many milliliters are in one liter? Class, right, they give you the answer. Boys and girls, what will I do to my liters to get milliliters? So then they continue to practice a convergence. You can see as we get to lesson four, they're talking about mass. They'll do their uh, metric mass conversions. They'll do the same thing when we get to lesson five, but now we're talking about customary units. So of course that doesn't follow the great base 10 system, um, which means they continually need practice talking about how big an inch is, that this is not an inch, so we're watching kids' um, hands. They should know quickly it's about the length of my nose, okay, one of my toes. So all of those things are helping them to see that this is an inch. We know that it's, um, when we look at our um, space between our knuckle and our the top of our finger, that's about an inch on our thumb specifically. So we're looking very closely to make sure this is a foot between our shoulders or our folders that students have um, an accurate measure. Okay, so you'll go through and you'll do all of these that doesn't change. Here you go, you get to lesson seven. We do it with customary weight, 
Then we get to um, units of time. We're going to convert our time and then you're finished with the unit. So the entire quick practice is building automaticity with measurement conversion. Enjoy. Thank you.